Hey guys, this is Caleb with DSLR Video Shooter and today I'm excited to get into hard drives for video production, which ones I use, how I use them, workflow, and how to make sure you have really solid backup solutions. Unfortunately, hard drives are one of those oh yeah things. You know, we're shooting a lot, we're excited about our cameras, our lenses, all this stuff, and then we realize we have to put this on something. We have to put all this footage somewhere. What I wanna do is I wanna talk about each of the drive enclosure systems that I use, and uh, then we're going to get into kind of a workflow system and a way to make sure you have everything backed up. And then we're gonna look at what I eventually want to do. So I'm just like you guys, I can't afford everything. Um, I'm working on older gear, my computer's older. So let's go ahead and jump in and talk about the drives. I'm gonna have links to all the drives that we're talking about in the description. And let me go ahead and grab the first two. So the first enclosures I wanna talk about are these guys, the Guardian Maximus. You can buy these at OWC, on Amazon, a bunch of other places. These have been my workhorses for years and years. These are the older models, they can make new ones with better connections. What's great about these is obviously it's a heavy duty enclosure and you have two bays and it is a hardware mirrored uh, setup. So one drive is backed up or mirrored to the second drive. They've had them for forever, six plus years or something ridiculous. So I really, really dig these and I think they're a great solution for pretty much anybody. Next up is the G Technology Thunderbolt Drive. This is a three terabyte. They have several different other versions. And the reason I bought this is I couldn't afford a monster setup that we'll talk about a little bit later. Um, but at the same time, I didn't have enough space on my raids that we just looked at. And I needed all of my files for a massive project on one drive and it needed to be a fast drive. And this project was the stinking GH4 guide. That thing was huge. Four hours, I think was the final edit. So you can imagine how much footage I had and um, it was a nightmare. It was uh, 4K, so it was pretty beastly. And again, I'm using an older machine, so I needed as much speed as possible. And that's where this guy really saved me. I'm gonna set this down and grab the next drive. And this is a very cheap My Book from Western Digital. You can pick these up for pretty affordably on Amazon. And this is also a three terabyte. So I use this to back up the files on the GTEC. And the way I did this was with a great piece of software called uh, Carbon Copy Cloner very affordable and it's amazing. So I just have that set up where every day at 5 p.m. it backs up this drive to this drive and then this drive goes into a fireproof safe and I'm good to go. The next two drives I use for a bunch of different things but a lot of the time I'm using them when I'm on set. So the first one is the G-Tech Slim. This thing is almost nothing. Let me grab my phone. This is an iPhone uh, 6S and the hard drive is just a hair thicker. So tiny, tiny little drive. I love this thing for onset. So if for whatever reason you're needing to offload cards or you just wanna keep the cards, but put the footage on your laptop and a drive, this is a great solution. I also use this if I need to give dailies to somebody or send some footage to a director or producer. Um, they're almost nothing when it comes to weight. Similar to the Slim, I have a G-Tech RAID Mini, and um, they make a bigger version of this, and essentially it's similar to the hard drive RAID we looked at earlier, the Guardian Maximus, same idea, um, but this one is small, hence the name Mini. The next drive is a dirt cheap drive, I wanna say it's like 69 bucks on Amazon, and that's just a one terabyte uh, Western Digital drive just like a little laptop portable drive, and I use this to back up my Mac. The next enclosure uh, I'm gonna show you is what I'm going to be using in the future. I can't afford right now to put drives in it, and that is the Mobius 5 bay. So this has five bays, as you can see, and uh, you can do up to 20 terabytes on this, and you have a ton of RAID options. I'm thinking of using a RAID 10 eventually, and again, when I can afford to put drives in it, I will. Um, I got a good deal on it, and I think it's like under $300. Thanks for sticking with me, guys. We're getting down to the last device. It's not really a hard drive, but this thing has saved my bacon. Remember when I was talking about the GH4 guide and how much uh, space I was using, and it was a nightmare. I had so many different drives. I was getting down to the finish line to get that stupid project done, 
And um, I needed to connect a bunch of drives, bunch of different connections all together so that I could get access to all the different footage. Because I was pulling up footage from older projects, from newer projects, from different drives that just had proxy media on it, which is, you know, I know terrible, but whatever. And uh, this thing saved my bacon, and that is the Thunderbolt dock from OWC. And what was tricky is I had some Thunderbolt drives, but I only had one Thunderbolt port, and my Mac is right in the middle, so I didn't have any USB 3 and one Thunderbolt. So this thing really saved me. I'm able to take the Thunderbolt out of my computer into this, then this gives me an extra Thunderbolt, as well as, what do we have here? Five different um, USB 3 ports, as well as a ton of other stuff. Love this thing, I think it's a great option for those of us with older machines and we need some flexibility. The only other drive I use is a Apple time capsule. That's also my wireless system here in the studio. So that thing just automatically in the background is backing up my computer on a daily basis, multiple times a day. Great device. Obviously, if you're gonna get an airport, you might as well slap a drive in it. Okay, so thanks for sticking with me. That was a lot of hard drives. Now I wanna talk about how all this fits together. And I have a really cool diagram I'm gonna show you. And this is my current setup and my current workflow. So this is gonna help us figure out how all this fits together. I'm out shooting, I bring home cards and field drives. That goes straight into my iMac. From the iMac, I'm able to connect a bunch of different drives. Those Guardian Maximus drives are used for all of my projects and all my old projects, backups, things like that. I have two of those, and then I obviously, those each have a mirror drive, which is fantastic. Then I'm using my G Technology Thunderbolt drive for current projects. So this is the stuff that I'm editing currently and I need access to, you know, have more speed so that Thunderbolt comes into play. And then I have a backup of that on that Western Digital My Book, that cheap three terabyte drive. So that's the projects for my iMac backup. I obviously have my time capsule, so that's backing up daily. And then that cheap Western Digital one terabyte, that's my second backup. That goes into a safe and I back up onto that once a week. So that setup has been working well for me, but I want something a little more safe when it comes to backups and faster drive. So here is what I'm planning on doing. Just like before, all cards and field drives will hook up directly to the Mac. Then I'll have all projects on that Mobius 5 bay. So everything I've ever worked on will be on that thing. And uh, it's gonna allow me to pull all that up if I need to use multiple files from different projects, I can easily do it because it's all connected together. Then that is going to be backed up to two identical drives. So I'll essentially have two different backups, but what I'm going to do is have one backup in-house here in the studio, then the other backup is going to be at my UPS box. This way, if my entire studio explodes and burns down to the ground, I can always run over to UPS, pick up my backup, and I'm good to go. Same thing with the iMac. So I'm gonna have two identical drives backing up weekly to the iMac, and then I will be able to have one of those at UPS or a safety deposit box or something like that, and one here in the studio. So same thing, if everything explodes, I can go down to the Apple store, pick up a new computer, and then just plug in my backup drive and I'm back to the races. So that's the setup I'm going to be switching to hopefully here before too long. And you don't have to use UPS, you could use a friend's house, um, a safety deposit box if you already have something like that. Uh, another tip is if you have a basement, I have several firefighter friends and a lot of the times when a house completely burns down, the basement is almost untouched. So keeping stuff in a fireproof safe in your basement is a great way to keep things safe. But you still wanna be thinking about a major catastrophe or theft, so you wanna keep all that in mind and having something at a secure separate location is a great way to go. So those are the hard drives I use, how I use them, as well as a future setup that I'm eventually gonna be switching to. I hope this has helped you guys. I'd love to hear how you use hard drives and what your workflow is, how you back things up, and any suggestions and tools that you would have for us. So thank you so much for watching. You can keep watching videos here every Tuesday and Thursday on DSLR Video Shooter.